All right, so here we go. All right, first one, space reads. Okay, so, and, and the way we've done this, some people teach first level, second level, third level RPOs, and that's kind of the batting order. Uh, what our quarterback coach likes to do, first and foremost, is get into the RPO game, and this is kind of the order that we go in. So space reads are the first one, okay? Um, simple little things, you know, is he far enough? Is he not far enough? Um, make a decision. Easy to watch on film and, and show, you know, hey, you made a good decision. Hey, you made a bad decision. That kind of stuff. Uh, doesn't have to necessarily, you know, it's it's kind of a, a disconnect or or connect kind of a of a read. Okay. Um, Pre-snap reads, leverage numbers access. Allow quarterback to put us in a good play without the need for multiple calls or checks. And and again, when you want to go fast and when you want to shift people and move them around, this does become important. Okay, paired with runs where we have a defined run pass strength, also under center plays where we cannot read in the mesh. Okay, so again, this is our under center, can't mesh it, has to be pre-snap read. Okay, so this should be uh, starting those. All right, so again, we are running uh, the duo play to our left. All right, and this is... This is strictly uh, a space read here. There is, um, whether you call it a space read or whether you call it a numbers read, there is one person uh, to block and one defender and a ball carrier. So we've got the ball and we have a blocker. So we're good to go. This guy, this edge of the box guy, he is tight enough that, that there is, you know, it, he is not going to be able to get to our guy now. You will see on here, I'm not going to deny it, okay? You will see on here, we take some chances because, you know, we, and when I say we, that quarterback got a lot of mileage out of trusting this dude, okay? So the more, you know, that this guy can make the throw as a quarterback and that dude can make, make him right, by just catching the ball and making someone miss, um, you know, it does happen. Plus, you know, it, to be quite honest, we struggled a little bit last year. We had we had some uh, new guys starting for us, and we weren't quite as good as we were the year before. So there were a lot of instances where even the old line coach, me, was going, yeah, can we just throw that? Um, which is, I don't want to admit it to my closest friends, but. Uh, I'm afraid I have to. So here we go. You know, obviously the rules on do are the same, um, you know, for this protected run on the play side. Uh, so we are good. Uh, we're always we're always going to read the last defender. So, you know, it's not like we really have to motion a guy over there. Uh, we are going to read an outside guy. So if somebody fills real fast that we aren't going to even get it back to the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, we'll be fine. Here they're giving us a blitz look. Uh, the outside guy comes up. All right. Quarterback does a great job. He actually kind of, um, you know, was anticipating something. He kind of messed with his cadence a little bit. Um, it, it wasn't like we went on two. Um, we can we can change the snap count. You know, this is a great uh, quote unquote play check uh, without having to freeze it and, you know, Quarterback gets up, looks to the sideline, allows the defense to change everything. Okay, again, uh, RPO off of duo. Okay, so, um, you know, we do a good job of making sure, you know, our wide receivers here uh, do a really good job of aiming uh, for the outside guy and then taking uh, the best, um, I'm sorry, the not the best, the most dangerous. So, Obviously, if he starts out here and this guy backs up and two, you know, really starts hauling ass out there, you know, we'll we'll change up who we go to. So he's going to start at the man over uh, whoever we're throwing it to. OK.
Okay, here it is again. All right, and I will show it from the end zone, probably give you a little bit better idea. Okay, tucked in the box, you know, clearly, clearly uh, this is going to be, this is going to be a situation where with, with this outside backer tucked in the box uh, right there on the edge where the cursor was, um, you know, we've got a lot of room out there. Yes, uh, here's the funny thing. If, if we were just running the ball and handing it to the, uh, to the uh, B back in our instance all day and telling the wide receivers to block, Sometimes they get kind of, you know, sometimes that's a little hard to motivate them on, but it's amazing how motivated they are when they're all in the same room. Like, hey, man, you know, I, you, you did a great job for me today, uh, you know, or, or, hey, you did a crappy job for me today. It, it motivates the heck out of them. Okay. So now the reason why I included this, I know that this is the jet sweep off of it is because for us, we kind of consider these plays to be quote unquote RPOs. Okay. We are, we are essentially getting it. This is the same thing. So we teach it the same way. Okay. We're getting it to this guy on a jet sweep, whether we hand it to him or not. Okay. Now this guy always assumes that he's going to get the jet sweep, okay, based on the timing of when we send the motion, okay? So if we send them early and he starts getting into a position where he the ball isn't being snapped, he knows that he isn't getting it and just runs, okay? That's if we're handing it off here. So the quarterback will actually change up a little bit. I mean – it's it's almost imperceptible to the defense, uh, but it we, he will change up the timing just a little bit. Okay, we've talked about doing hand signals where these guys know if they're getting the ball or not. But you know, it's one of those things where it, you know we'll we'll try to change it. If someone's really good at guessing whether he has it or not, we'll go back to hand signals. Okay, so it's it's easy to do either way. Um, you know, if you look. Uh, for all of our stuff, the quarterback will always look at the man who has to go in motion uh, to send him in motion. All of our motions are full speed motions. So in this instance, it's pretty good. Um, this is our tackle over set. So again, all this is is a number count outside. You know, so we had so our space reads and our number count reads are the exact same. Okay, as far as uh, the way we teach them, okay, uh, at, at, you know, in in batting order is what I mean. Not as far as you can't teach them exactly the same. So right here, we've got two defenders outside uh, here and here. Now, typically, what happens is we don't count a five technique. And I know you're saying, well, that's a tight end, but again, he's playing offensive tackle, so we wouldn't count this. And the reason why we ran it is because we wouldn't count this five technique in the count. So we're anticipating that we can outside release to here. We can outside release to here. And uh, I'll be quite honest with you. This is actually the second time in this game we ran it. We're running stretch over here to this side. All right. And what we said was, hey, look, our guy, all right, our jet sweep guy can beat that half field safety. You two just make sure that you get the end and uh, the corner, okay? So they do a good job of passing that off. And uh, obviously number one has some skills, okay? Uh, I think the center probably would have screwed that up uh, on the two eye, but I think we're, we're potentially in pretty good position uh, to have a good play. Okay, so again, this is under the space and or numbers read. And uh, I think what I'm going to show you here is probably a better uh, idea of numbers count. Okay. So on this, all right, the only way that we would 
So again, numbers count for an outside jet sweep, okay? The only way we would count this is if he were a nine technique. So if he were a nine technique, we would say, okay, look, this guy's in the count. That potentially could be, you know, again, imagine him as a nine, one, two, and another safety over on this side, you know, three. But uh, again, you know, he's a really tight nine. This guy's deep enough when these two outside release, even with run action, because of our play action game, uh, I got to tell you, it, this guy is not as fast and and we're getting it to a pretty good player on the edge fast, okay? And I can't tell you what this does for the line. Every time we bring that guy back in motion, those linebackers have to have to worry about it. I mean, they could say that they're not involved in it, but it it freezes them for a second and gives us an opportunity to, to possibly get on the right people. In fact, here, this backside linebacker was in no man's land. He wouldn't have been in position to get either one. 